Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, thank you. This love reading for Aquarius will be from January 1st through the 15th. Let's take a look and see what's going on with Aquarius for love. First, we're going to get a few oracle cards to see what kind of mood you're in. And then we'll look at the tarot. Go through any challenges and get some advice. What do we have for Aquarius in love for January 1st through the 15th? What do we have for Aquarius in love? We have intuition and downloads. Okay, so your intuition may be very high right now, Aquarius. I feel like you may be attracting a lot of attention at the moment. I feel like as far as love goes, I feel like you're very open and receptive to love and any offers that are acceptable for you. And we have earth and ground. Yeah, so I feel like you're, like I said, I feel like you're pretty grounded right now. I feel like you're in a, in a happy spirit, content. And we have manifestation on the bottom. So Aquarius, you can be manifesting whatever love possibilities your you have any intentions on so if you are manifesting love set your intention specifically to what you want and go for it okay let's take a look at the tarot yeah i feel like aquarius i feel like if you are manifesting love i feel like very well may receive it. As I'm doing the reading, I'm feeling like I'm like really in good spirits, very um, high vibrational. And I feel like that is the kind of aura that's around you. I feel like you're very content. You're very content in your space. You're very content with yourself. And I feel like you're very open to the possibilities. What do we have? The Page of Pentacles, definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely what I was feeling. We have the Moon card. What else do we have for Aquarius in love? What else do we have for Aquarius? The Six of wants yeah okay we have the high priestess oh two of them okay okay so we have the two of swords and the knight of pentacles Yeah, Aquarius, so I feel like, you know, I feel like there may be offers coming in. I feel like people may be noticing you. They may be seeing you. Um, I feel like you're very popular at the moment. Whether you know it or not, people are watching you. They're watching you to see how you carry yourself. Um, how you go about things. Maybe little details about your appearance. Wow, okay. We have the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I feel like you probably have several different options available for you because people are seeing you, Aquarius. People are taking notice. Uh, whether you know it, I feel like you're being watched. 
the death card. Okay. And one more spirit. Let's get one more card. And the seven of pentacles. Okay. The energy on the bottom is the ten of pentacles. Definitely. So definitely success, abundance, happiness, um, material wealth. Um, your needs being met. Definitely. I, I feel a very good vibration from you, Aquarius. So with the Page of Pentacles and the Moon card, I definitely feel like someone's going to make you an offer. Someone wants to approach you with some kind of offer. Maybe to go out on a date, maybe to have coffee, um, just to get you get to know you a little better. Maybe they just want to take a walk and get to know you. That's exactly what I'm feeling with the Page of Pentacles and the Moon card. I feel like this person wants to know your secrets. They want to know, can they trust you? They want to know, can you be trusted? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person who's kind of coming in really strong sees changes maybe that you have made. Maybe you've known this person for a while. Maybe you worked with this person. Or maybe they're just in some kind of social circle. Um, but I feel like this person has seen changes in you. And it's made them very aware. And they're turning their head. They're turning their head. They're watching you. They're, they're seeing a lot of things that they like. And the way that you carry yourself. The way that you approach things and I feel like they want to know your secrets they want to know your mystery Aquarius they want to know what you're all about maybe they've heard things about you from other people and they want to see is that information true <laughs> very interesting But I definitely feel like this person sees you as some sort of mystery that they want to break, that they want to solve. Now, when it comes to love, Aquarius, I feel like you are going to have a choice. You may have a choice between more than one. You may have a choice between a couple different options. Maybe you're dating more than one person, or maybe you have the option to date more than one person. But I feel like you're going to be making a choice to um, see which one is better suited for you. Which love interest are you going to choose? And I feel like th these options are, there aren't going to be easy options. There, this isn't going to be an easy, easy choice. I feel like it's going to put you at a standstill. You're going to have to take a minute. You're going to have to decipher things. You're going to have to really figure things out. Because I don't think it's going to be an easy choice. I think that the people that you are dating or the people that are around you are making it hard to choose who would be the best fit. And into your life and I feel like you're you're really thinking about that you're thinking about who is gonna fit into your world who's going to live up to your standards who's who has the same qualities the same beliefs who has the same drive that you do Aquarius and I feel like it's it's gonna be hard for you to come to a decision and I feel like at a certain point you may be a little deadlocked too um, you may not want to make a choice, <coughs> excuse me, but I feel like you probably have to, 
because I'm not sure how well it will work out constantly juggling more than one person. Um, I feel like it's going to be a lot of work. But I feel like you're ready for the adventure. You're ready for the changes that this is kind of bringing you to. It's worth your effort. Whatever it is that you're doing, and it's work trying to figure out how to make a choice in love. But definitely love is coming towards you, Aquarius. If you are single, if you're starting out this new year single, this new year is going to be like no other. You are so appealing. You have more than one person turning their head. They're looking at you, Aquarius, and they're, they're liking what they see. They like your hard work. They like your drive. They like your ambition. They like the way you carry yourself, your appearance. Um, it's very appealing to them, you know? They, they're just really taking it all in. Very interesting. Let's get some cards here before we go into answering this challenge. Your challenge, by, way, by the way, is making this choice. It's going to take work to make this choice. Let's see. What do we have for Aquarius in love? Yeah, don't stop. Don't stop, Aquarius. You got this. Don't give up. Love is coming, whether you know it or not. Yeah, and you could also be improving your health, too. I feel like with the new year, maybe you have resolutions that you are really sticking to. But I feel like your health is improving. And if, if you take a look at this, the emphasis is really on the heart. You know what I'm saying? Can you see that? So I feel like you went through healing. You've done whatever you needed to do in order to heal from whatever you've been through. And I feel like you've come over on the other side and you are open and receptible to love. You may be working on your health as well, but I really feel like this is you healing. And the healing part of love is just, wow. You know, um, when you fall in love, when you have someone special in your life, the, there's healing qualities in that, you know, um, you feel good about yourself. You feel good about the person. You take care of yourself a little bit better. You really watch how you, uh, how you go about life when you're in love because you're not only thinking about yourself, you're thinking about the other person as well. At the bottom, Aquarius, you have Ask Your Angels. So I feel like with any choice that you need to make, um, ask for inner guidance. Ask your angels to help you with any decisions that you have to make. And I feel like you won't go wrong in this situation. Um, but yeah, I feel like January is especially going to be very... It's going to be a roller coaster ride for you, Aquarius, because I feel like your options are so open. You're going to actually have a choice, a choice to make. Okay, Spirit, how can Aquarius get through the challenge? How can Aquarius get through making these choices that they need to make in love? How can Aquarius approach this? Yeah, your happiness. 
your happiness, your abundance, your future, your well-being. That's all going to ride on your choice. So I think looking at what makes you the most happy, what makes you the most joyful, um, what person really fits into your life, what person really um, matches your qualities. That's going to be very important for you to look at. Okay. And we have the Emperor. Yeah, so Aquarius. I really feel like, okay, this could be an Aries that you're dealing with or that you will deal with. But I feel like you're just taking control of the situation. You're taking control of your options, your... Um, You're really planning things out. The Emperor, he's a strategic planner. He's very powerful. He's a true leader. He knows exactly what to do and when to do it. He just has an inner knowing. He is... a divine counterpart. And I feel like it may be an Aries that's coming towards you. Someone who really knows how to control the room. Make important decisions. And still follow their heart. Yes, we have the Four of Cups. Yes, yeah, so I feel like it's going to be kind of hard for you to make a decision, Aquarius. I feel like you're going to dwell on it. I feel like you're gonna you're gonna date a little bit to kind of feel these people out. But I feel like you're gonna be very surprised by the outcome. Yeah, I feel I definitely feel like you're gonna be very surprised by the outcome. Okay. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, so we have the We have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom here too. Exactly. I was thinking, I, I know I've seen the Ten of Pentacles before, but yeah, we had that on the bottom. So definitely, this new year is going to bring you so much happiness, so much abundance, so much joy, so much just inner knowing with the High Priestess and the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of uh, Cups. You're going to have just an inner knowing on what direction you need to go in. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. Definitely. So this is something that you're going to feel very overwhelmed over. This is a new beginning for you, Aquarius. This is someone new. Someone who's going to make your heart feel with the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, definitely your heart's going to be filled. You're going to feel like you've won the lottery here. Lots of new beginning energy. What advice do we have for Aquarius? What advice do we have for Aquarius? the star Aquarius lead with your heart have faith and just know definitely you're, you're going to make a choice Aquarius that is going to leave you balanced that's going to leave you feeling renewed. 
that's going to give you a lot of faith. Someone is definitely going to be your spotlight. And I feel like you are definitely someone's spotlight. This may be a soulmate. This may be a twin flame. This may be very, very, very intense. Yeah, we have the we have the Ace of Wands on the bottom. So it's going to be very passionate, very intense. You're going to be inspired to do new things, go on new journeys, have new experiences. But this is going to this is going to be a very passionate and lusty <laughs> in January definitely a lot of new love coming through for you wow very intense very intense feelings here let's get let's get an angel card for guidance here let's get an angel card for guidance for Aquarius Okay, you have Fiona. Now that you've asked angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve he heaven's help. Okay, now if I remember right, we had heaven's help. Did we, let's see. Yeah, ask your angels. Definitely. So, yeah, when it comes to making your choice, Aquarius, of course, make a logical decision make a decision with your heart as well as your mind but ask your angels for help your angels are there for guidance they'll lead you into the right direction and the spirit is letting you know that they want you to ask your angels for help that they're ready and willing and able to um to help you through the process in order to bring this wonderful ten of cups moment this Ten of Pentacles moment, definitely. And uh, I, I feel like whatever you do, Aquarius, is going to be very successful. It's going to lead you into a fantastic, successful, uh, loving new year. At the bottom, you have Francesca. So what do you deserve? What do you desire right now? visualize it it will come about negativity will block your progress so that goes with this let's see yeah okay energy at the bottom of the deck manifestation so yeah what do you desire right now visualize it it will come about negativity will block your progress that's all manifestation that's all manifestation is desire plan visualize and bring to earth without any negativity your manifestations are going to come to life you have transformation underneath that too that's the death card definitely strong strong energy strong energy Aquarius. So yeah, I feel like this year is going to be very, very powerful for you. Powerful for you. Wonderful reading, Aquarius. Very exciting time for you. Okay, Aquarius, that is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising, although I don't think you have to. This tells you everything. Um, this is all the success that you would desire for an entire year. Um, maybe for an entire lifetime. There's a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, a lot of, you know, wealth and good health. That There's everything here that you could desire. And I feel like this year is your year for it. Aquarius. Very intense reading. Very powerful. Okay. 
Well, Aquarius, Happy New Year and happy love. Many blessings to you. Love and light.